Good afternoon, YouTube. My name's John Dean. Welcome to another episode of Dropping Hammers TV. Today we have the very first unboxing episode. And what are we unboxing? Some Sika Inferno bibs. Heck yeah. I'm going to be using these bibs on a late season uh, Illinois whitetail hunt this year. I'm going to take my muzzleloader to Illinois and try to get a big one. Um, yeah, super excited about that hunt. I've been using the same pair of bibs for like the last 15 years. So this is a big deal, like upgrading a staple of the hunting wardrobe. So, well, like most sick of stuff, I'm sure it's going to be awesome and it's going to be 10 times better than what I've been using. So uh, I'm not too worried about that, but uh, this is the first unboxing episode. I don't even think I've ever really watched an unboxing thing about anything on YouTube. So I'm just going to do it how I normally do it. I'm going to cut into this box and see what is going on with it. Let's see what these things are all about. I'll probably never be able to use these things. Where I normally hunt in South Alabama. Probably a little touch warm for that place, but you know what? It's cool having cool stuff. So what the hell? Alright, what's in here? Ooh, you're gonna get a bonus. I also bought some incinerator flip mitts. I forgot about that. Yeah, you think you'd remember buying a fucking $200 pair of mitts. But anyway, all right. First things first. Let's go to the incinerator mitt. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not as jacked up about these because I, uh, I bought my brother-in-law a set of these things like four years ago for a Christmas present. And so I kind of already knew that these things were pretty awesome, but that's going to come in handy. I was in Montana, I think it was last year in 2019, and it was one of the coldest opening weekends of rifle season on record. And if I would have had something like this, I would have been, I would have been in a little better shape, not a whole lot better shape, but it would have been a little more comfortable. That was a cold weekend. Oh, all right, so time for the big unveiling, the Sika incinerator bibs. All right, let's see what we got here. Get that out of here. Chayton seems very excited, my dog. What is that? You excited? Bye bye. Very nice, very nice. I'm liking so far. This will work. Look at all this cool stuff. So, right off the bat, silent. Not dead silent like their Fanatic system. But seems pretty quiet. Definitely quiet enough for firearms. For sure. All right. Let me put these things on so I can really give them a test. It's kind of close quarters to do this, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> Look, at, dude, these are comfortable. I like this. Nice leather thing on the uh, zipper, little leather tab. It's very fancy. Look at this little strap. Don't know what that's for right now. Another strap. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring on the big bucks. <laughs> these are comfy. Heck, I probably almost didn't even need the mitts. You got these big pockets right here. They don't go all the way through like the fanatic system, but they're just individual pockets. And then looks like I got some zipper pockets right here. They look to be waterproof. They got the waterproof seal around them. Big giant pockets for just storing stuff. looks like 
Pockets are similar in size to the Fanatic bibs. I don't know if y'all had the Fanatic bibs. So I had the Fanatic bibs and uh, I sold them to a buddy of mine. I wasn't in love with them. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the only, and I don't think I got the sizing right. They, they just didn't fit me right. It wasn't that I didn't like them. They didn't fit me right. And they fit my buddy who's taller than me a lot better because I never wear these to the stand. I always have them in my backpack and I just walk in in jeans or whatever. I might have my jacket on, but I don't want to start sweating. So even in cold weather, if I've got, you know, like a stand on my back or all the stuff I'm going to need to sit for a day, and I'm usually walking in like a quarter mile or so in the places I hunt. I, uh, I just like to have these in my backpack. And I think these, it's going to be close. These will probably pack down better into a backpack. From what I remember about the Fanatic bib, I, uh, I sold them to my buddy like probably two years ago. So it's been a minute since I held those Fanatic bibs. But it seems like these are going to pack down better. But the big thing is, is how easy are they to take off with boots on? Because I'm going to have my boots on, I'm going to walk to the stand with my backpack on, and then I'm going to throw these on. So... And I, do, I mean, who wants to take their boots off on their whitetail hunting and get birds all over them? So the zipper comes all the way up. Oh, it'll totally unzip. I think. It looks like it is. Well, the zipper's meat. I'll have to look, I'll have to play with this and see if it totally unzips. But that's all the way to the top. which that's nice. I'd almost rather it not totally zip, then unzip that, unhook that. So yeah, getting on, on and off with boots is not going to be a problem. I really like these. I am fired up about these right now. These zippers coming all the way up here. That is nice. That is real nice. So what my redhead pants were, and I should have them here for this, demonstration they were just like extra 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 large pants that i had hemmed up and they looked like clown pants they weren't really meant to be bibs they were just giant extra law you know triple xl pants they were huge with suspenders and they worked pretty darn good like that but these are meant to do what i like to do with them and i can already tell that this is going to be nice you know what this would have this would not have been bad for that elk hunt in Montana. I could have kept these in my pack, and whenever I stopped the glass, I could have thrown these on. I'm pretty sure there's Gore-Tex. Yeah, they would have been fine. You'd probably sit in the snow in these. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it took me this long to order these. Yeah. Order them. They're awesome. All right. Peace, YouTube. Have a good one.